30 got six John here and today what I want to talk about was is what I actually use when I go out camping and traveling in Alaska uh, we just came back from a several day trip to Denali Park uh, it is legal to uh, conceal carry in the park and uh, I just want to go over what firearms I actually use and take and talk about my loads and what I do to get the firearms ready. The handgun I carried on this trip was my 4 inch 44 Magnum Red Hawk. This is a very handy rifle, uh, handgun. 4 inch barrel, heavy duty. Had this gun for a long time, I like it. Holster I use is this thumb brake. Uh, it's an older Bianchi holster. I like the thumb brake for the uh, a quicker presentation. For ammo, I take all hand loads of um, hard cast lead. These are actually some 300 grain hard cast lead that I had last year. This year I'm carrying these 320 grain cast performance. They're going about a little bit over 1200 feet per second. The amount of ammo I carry about half a box, like 25 rounds. I carry all hand loads for my 44 Magnum. A lot of people don't like to use them. They like to use uh, factory loads. I carry my hand loads and I load them carefully. Make sure the primer is seated well. Make sure you get a good powder drop. After each round is done, make sure that primer is just below flush. Good crimp. I always take a long rifle with me. Uh, in this trip, I took my lever action Marlin in 450 Marlin cartridge. Been a great gun, had this rifle for, oh, 20 years, probably over 20 years. I have a lot of confidence in this thing. So if you go inside Denali National Park, the rifle has to be in the gun case and unloaded, which is fine by me. I take one box of ammunition with me. These are all hand loads. The one load is a 400 grain Barnes Buster. This is a Heavy full metal jacket, flat nose bullet, 400 grain, going just about 800 feet per second. And what I have here are some 350 grain hard cast lead. These are from fellow YouTuber CW, and uh, he sent me some bullets, so I'm starting to use them. They're 350 grain. These are very hard cast lead uh, and powder coated. These are going about 1900 feet per second. I take a couple flashlights with me. This one here is good if I want to duct tape it to the side of the rifle for nighttime use. One thing I didn't take was bear spray. Bear spray has its uses, but uh, it only really, you know, scares mildly curious bears. It won't really stop a bear charge. There's been a lot of document cases where the bears have charged right through bear spray. These are what I took on this past trip. Uh, on my you know, next trip, I might have other firearms with me, but this is just a, a typical example of what I usually take, a heavy pistol and a heavy loaded rifle. Like I said earlier, we spent a, uh, a couple days in Denali Park. We actually stay, spent the night outside the park, but we spent a couple days in the park. Uh, here's some pictures of uh, some animals we saw, including a grizzly.
Everyone be careful on the upcoming Memorial Day weekend. Don't forget your self-defense firearm. Everyone have a nice day. Thanks for watching and uh, take care.